Hello YouTube, Sam here from youtube.com slash onlivegamer for the new Boston and in this tutorial we're going to be working more on our favorites viewer for the tray. So before we get started I just want to give full credit to the authors of Beginning Microsoft Visual Basic 2008 uh, by Theron Willis and Brian Newsom. Uh, they created this app and I'm using it to teach you guys um, how to make it and some concepts with Visual Basic. Okay, so now what we need to do, after we've created our favorites and we've scanned through the favorites um, and sorted it in the collection that is inside of this favorites object, and we created a context menu, which would be like this whole menu right here. So we created this and the context menu, so now we need to process each favorite. So we can use a for each loop. So for each object web favorite as web favorite, and what we need to do is we need to type internet favorites dot web favorite and then we're going to do in favorites dot favorites collection so for each of the web favorite objects that are in the collection that is stored in this favorite class um, what we want to do is we want to, we want to add those to the menu so we will declare object item as a new web favorite mem menu item so this is going to create an item with the name um, and it will allow us to click on that to open the URL. So for the constructor we're going to use object web favorite because it takes a, a web favorite. So it's going to use our object web favorite that is in the list of our favorites um, favorite uh, object. So it's, it's going to go through each of the um, web favorites in this collection and it's going to create a new menu item based on the web favorite that it's given. So what do we want to do with that menu item? Well, We want to add it to the context menu. So we'll do object menu items or object menu dot menu items dot add and we'll add object item. So what this is doing is it uses our object menu object, which is a context menu, and it's going to add a menu item to it. So dot menu items dot add. So we're telling it we're going to add an item, and we want to, we want to add object item. So object item is a web favorite menu item, and it uses the web favorite that is in the collection of scanned favorites. Now it's going to do this for each of those favorites. So each time it's going to add it with the new favorite, um, the new menu item based on each favorite in the list. So now what we need to do is we need to separate it um, from the exit. So we'll just type object menu dot menu items dot add. And when we add this right here, it's going to add a separator um, in between our each of our favorites right here. And then there's nothing under it. So what we need to do is we need to add that. So we'll type object menu dot menu items dot add. And we want to create a new instance of our exit menu item. So instead of having to create a whole new object for exit menu item, um, even though we're only going to be using it once, we can just skip declaring it and we can just create a new exit menu item inside the arguments of the menu items. Now, whenever we add a menu item to a context menu, we have to give it something that inherits from menu item or else it will not work. So we'll come back to form1.vb and underneath this we need to um, tell our tray icon to use this context menu so that when it's right clicked it's going to use um, the menu. So we'll just say icon notify dot context menu is going to be equal to our object menu. And so let's create a boolean and we'll call it boolean load called and we'll set it equal to true right here. Now you can see we get an error because that's not declared yet. So we'll come up here and we'll just say private boolean load called as boolean and we'll set it equal to false. So basically what this does is it's going to be equal to false and then once all of these processes are done it's going to set it equal to true. And then we'll just type me.hide. So it'll hide the form and it'll only show the icon. So we'll come down here to this 
um, form one visible change. And what we'll do is we'll only have it change to visible equal to, to false um, if all of this has already processed. So if button load, I mean if boolean load called um, is equal to false, then we'll just um, get out of the sub. So if boolean load called ah, is equal to false, then we don't want to change anything. So we'll just type exit sub. Now in the book, it says to type return. And that will also work the same way. So return and exit sub will both um, get us out of the sub. And it won't um, run any of this code right here. So we'll just use return right there. So now let's go ahead and we will run our program. And you can't see anything, but if we come down here and let's look at my tray, you can see that we have our favorites icon and it says right click for favorites. So if I right click, you can see we have Gmail, the new Boston, and YouTube. And this little bubble right here is from my tutorial timer that I created for the, each of these. So we can open one of these. So let's open the new Boston. You can see here that it opens it up in my default web browser.